Matrix and Roadshow fans, we are back with another video. We're going to be talking about Jonathan Majors because Kane the Conqueror himself, man, face justice today. His fate has now been sealed for the better part of this year. There was a lot of speculation on did Jonathan Majors actually assault his ex-girlfriend and his career, man, definitely was hanging in limbo. But today, guys, this may have been the death blow to his career. So right here on The Hollywood Reporter here, Jonathan Majors found guilty of assault and harassment. I actually believe it's um, two misdemeanor um, counts that he was actually found guilty on. I believe there was like uh, two other um, counts that he was not found guilty on. He's going to be uh, sentenced on February the 6th. Will he do some jail time? I guess it's possible. I really haven't followed this case uh, closely, but this will definitely have a huge impact on his career because we got some big news here. So let's read some of this here. A New York jury found Marvel actor Jonathan Majors guilty of reckless assault in the third degree and guilty of harassment. The verdict was reached by six person jury after roughly over four hours of deliberation spread across three days. Majors wearing a gray suit and black dress shirt and tie stood with his attorneys as the verdict was read with his family members and his girlfriend, Megan Good, behind him. Sentencing is set for February 6th. The charges, a misdemeanor and a violation carry a sentence of up to one year in prison. So some is telling me that he may end up, may end up getting something like the, um, the Jesse Smollett type of sentence, you know, um, I don't know if there's any minimum sentence on this here, maybe like three months in, uh, in jail or something like that. Maybe so, but I'm not really sure. So we will have to see on two other charges. He was found not guilty of intentional assault, in the third degree and not guilty of aggravated harassment in the second degree. In a statement after the verdict, the actor's attorney, uh, Priya Chaudhry, said Majors uh, looks forward to fully clearing his name, implying he may appeal. Uh, she said, uh, quote, Mr. Majors is grateful to God, his family, his friends and his fans for their love and support during these heroin eight months. Shortly after the verdict, and I might as well just go over here to um, to Disney. No, not to Disney, but to Breitbart here. This is the big news here. Disney's Marvel Studios drops Jonathan Majors following assault conviction. Yeah, he's done. He will not be Kang the Conqueror. Now, I didn't actually... Um, uh, see that movie where he was actually uh, Kane the Conqueror, but I did see him in um in uh, Creed three. I actually um thought uh, Creed three was uh pretty good, pretty good. He was um pretty good in that movie, but man, this is not good news for him. So it says here, Marvel has reportedly dropped Jonathan Majors from his slate of upcoming films in the wake of a jury finding him guilty of reckless assault in the third degree as well as harassment. According to The Hollywood Reporter, Marvel Studios confirm a major's firing on Monday, a near death blow to the actor's once rising career. The question will soon be how the MCU will move forward without majors in the role of Kane the Conqueror, who was slated to replace Thanos as the ultimate villain. Well, that definitely ain't happening now, man. I mean, the MCU to me is pretty much dead anyway. It really is. They haven't put out hardly anything that's good. I mean, really nothing since uh, Endgame, in my opinion. Now, I did not see uh, Guardians 3. I'm not a big uh, Guardians of the Galaxy fan. But it goes on. It says here, Marvel has two courses it could take now. It could recast the part, although... It is not clear how many actors would be attracted to a role from which one actor was so 
uh, publicly uh, fired. The other course is to redevelop his plans and refocus on a new uh, brand new villain. While Marvel uh, sources are mum, there is indication that the studio has already uh, been doing just that. In November, Marvel hired Loki creator uh, Michael um, Waldron to work on a new draft of what was once called Kang Dynasty, but is now being referred to as Avengers 5, according to sources. The studio has had months to plan for such an um, such thing to happen, and it's possible that uh, Walden uh, was part of that course correction. Yeah. So this is definitely going to have a um, a big effect right here. And they talk about some other characters, you know, that were um, uh, new actors actually came in. But the thing is, man, they were really trying to make uh, this guy be the big new baddie for the MCU. But it ain't going to happen, man. Jonathan Majors, man, I don't know how um, how he's going to recover from this. I really don't know. Now, it goes into the um, the makeup of the jury here. It says, as Breitbart News reported on Monday, a jury composed of three men and three women convicted the rising Hollywood star following a two-week trial in a state court in Manhattan. Prosecutors argued that uh, Jonathan Majors assaulted uh, Grace uh, Jabari in a car in New York in March, leaving her with a broken finger and swollen arm and ear. The actor was facing charges, including two assault counts and two harassment counts, all of which were misdemeanors and noted. The actor has maintained his innocence throughout the ordeal and even accused Jabari of assaulting him, it added. So there you have it, guys, man. This could definitely be the end of the career of Jonathan Majors, man. I mean, he just kind of hit the scene pretty fast. Starting to rise up, but now his career is pretty much done. Went down in flames. I don't know if he's actually going to be able to recover from this, but um, what do you guys think? Do you guys think that Jonathan Majors is going to be able to make a comeback and revive his career? He was on the up and up. I've only seen him in uh, Creed 3. That was pretty much it, man. But yep, that's news, man. He has been fired. By the MCU. That's just my thoughts on this. What do you guys think of this? Matrix and Roadshow fans. Let us know what you think about all this in the comments. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. And we'll catch you next time.